Very welcome to another video on Power BI for Sport. In a previous video we did on how to create dynamic reports with images or logos or whatever you would like to have dynamically changed as a picture, we showed you how to do that using Google Drive. In that video we got asked, is that possible to do with OneDrive? And yes, it is indeed. So in this video we're going to show you how to use OneDrive as a solution for when you are creating a report with logos or player pictures. So first of all, let's just have a look at this report that we're going to do this in. So at the moment, we just have this, this poor picture of me, not dynamic at all. We can move it around. It's just a picture that's been inserted. So if I now come and change to Andrew Moore, you can see how all the other data is being modified, but this picture just remains the same. Everything else is working perfectly fine. We can play around with the variables. We can modify the targets. Everything is working fine. The name is changing, position, date of birth, but not the picture. So let's have a look how we can do that with OneDrive as a solution. First of all, we just need a table where we can have the URL. And that's already been created. So you can see here, we have Andrew Moore, we have Anthony Mitchell. So I'm just going to show it for two athletes. You can add as many as you want, but I'll just show it for two. We have uh, the link for Google Drive that we used in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that video, please go and check it out because we show you how to create that table using this enter data function. And we also show you how you connect the data model having a dual or, or both direction filtering option. You, on the name, you link it to the player info table so that we can actually get the photo out. So if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend after this one to have a look at that as well. So what we need to do now is to come to OneDrive first of all. So let's jump into OneDrive. And in here, I've just created a folder and it has the folder name of athletes and I've added two player pictures. What you need to do now is to first of all, come to this share button. And in the share button, we need to make sure that the connection is uh, available for anyone with the link. So everybody with the link, apologies for being in Norwegian, everybody with the link can edit. Make sure that's the case for both of them. Let's have a look. Everyone with the link can edit. Lovely, we'll leave it like that. Then select the three dots. Scroll down again, Norwegian, sorry. There is one function here or one option to select embed. Come to embed, select generate, and you will get this piece of code. And you can see the picture coming up. We can copy this one. We can come back into Power BI. And because we already have a table, we simply just need to come to transform data. So we select transform data. We'll let that spin a little bit. We can come to the image table, come to source. So in the other video, we obviously created this table. Now we can select this and we just go again back to OneDrive, embed, generate, take this piece of code back to Power BI. We insert this code. We can hit OK. And now we have a different code. You can now see we have OneDrive instead of the Google we had before, we can hit close and apply. That was then updated and loaded and we can see here that's still working fine. And if we come here, we can see the OneDrive is now the link. If we now try to remove this picture, we select just a simple image as a visual, pull it more or less into place. And if we now take the URL, if we come to the image table, we pull in the URL. We let that load a little bit and we can now see how we have that picture inside here. If we were to modify this one, let's just come quickly to the selection, pull that picture a little bit down. Let's see if that pops behind. Yeah, there we go. And if we now modify to Anthony Mitchell, you can see how that picture then was changed. We can edit the settings a little bit. Make sure that the picture is a PNG format, remove the background so it looks more tidy like this one. 
and you can also of course modify the position how it's filling the picture etc and the height and then you're up and running so that is how you can use OneDrive as a solution in order to have dynamic pictures or logos if you want in your report if you didn't understand how we did the connection in the data model please make sure to check out our other video on using the Google Drive as a solution. I hope you liked this video. Keep asking questions because if you have good questions, we will definitely create a video on it. So make sure to comment below if you like this one or if there's something else you want. See you soon.